Beloved in Christ, this is Pastor Jeff, and this is the video for communion at North Lake on December 6, 2020. If you've happened to find your way to this video without sharing in worship with us previously, I invite you to at least uh, uh, worship with the online video before participating in this uh, video for communion. And I also say it's a good spot to pause and to make sure your elements are all ready. Some bread and juice uh, from your kitchen to have uh, at the ready in just a moment as we share. Something almost shocking, probably outrageous, that Jesus would come to earth as the Son of God and then offer himself on the cross as the sacrifice for our sin and for our salvation. We talk about having outrageous hope, and there's something quite outrageous, even beyond the normal hopes, that God himself would design a plan that would include the suffering in the most excruciating way for his son on the cross. It's almost preposterous, but it's also beautiful because it shows us the, the length and the depth and the height and the width of his love, the, those dimensions of love for us that he wants us to know. And that's what we commemorate every time we share together in the sacrament of communion. So in his name, I, I, I invite you to this table and to this special moment of remembering as well as looking forward. Both are involved here. On the night in which he was betrayed, the night of his arrest, Jesus was at table with his closest followers. And he took up bread and he broke it. And he said to them, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And now I invite you to do the same. This is a moment to receive the, the body of Christ broken for you. And we do this in remembrance of him. In the same manner also when they had eaten, eaten, our Savior took the cup, and he said to his disciples, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sin. And he passed the cup around the table, and he said to them, drink of it, all of you. And again, we do this in gratitude and in remembrance of him. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Let's pray. Oh God, these moments sharing the bread and the cup, no matter where we are, we are united by your Spirit, by your love, by what you have offered us. And it means looking back and understanding what you have done for us during your earthly life and in those hours upon the cross. But this sacrament also looks forward to a, a glad heavenly reunion, to a, a banquet at your table, to that omega hope, that ultimate hope of living eternally in your presence, knowing your forgiveness, knowing your love. We thank you. We praise you, and we offer ourselves to you yet again that we may live in a way that shows we, we know we are a part of your plan of salvation, and we have nothing to fear. Thank you for the special hope 
that you give us, today and always. Amen. And may God's hope fill your heart, give you peace and joy, and allow you to be a source of love for others around you wherever you go this week. Amen.